Welcome back and thanks for being here. We're almost to the new year and you know we have a mild end to the month of December here. Currently we have a couple light flurries making their way through the state but not much of anything. We'll see that off and on throughout the day. Accumulation certainly under half an inch. Very mild start to your day as well. Yesterday was mild. We warmed up into the upper 20s still above average. Average 22 degrees at this time of year. Our lows have been very warm throughout the last couple of weeks here. Average lows at four degrees. We certainly haven't seen single digits in a while. That's going to change for us as well. Looking at today when what to expect over the next couple of days here. We do have the chance for light flurries throughout the day today and a slight chance for some lake effect snow later tonight, perhaps into the overnight hours, but that is looking very slight and again accumulations very minor there for the typical snow belts. Colder air moving in today and it looks like we're going to be dealing with a pretty chilly New Year's Eve actually still above average, but we are going to be looking at the potential to see some of those single digits. A bit more sunshine returning tomorrow. We've had a very cloudy stretch. Today is going to be another cloudy day for us, but we do have a very quiet weather pattern ahead to look forward to for the next couple of days here into your weekend. Actually temperatures currently in the upper teens. We've already dropped a little bit further south. They're a little bit warmer in the low twenties and we are going to cool down as we do have colder air moving in winds this morning. Not a factor for us out of the west southwest and we're going to continue continue to see mild winds here. We had mild winds yesterday and that made things feel very me mellow when you woke up and throughout the day and that's what it's going to feel like here this morning before we get some of this cold air moving in from the west. We'll continue to see those temperatures drop and tonight we're going to be looking again at single digit lows. You can see some cooler air behind us here. That's what's going to keep us actually closer to average both today and tomorrow. Future cast showing this morning. We do have that cloud cover sticking around. We can expect that throughout the day today into tonight. Again, the chance for light snow off and on and into tonight. We do have that chance for lake effect snow as winds do change out of the northwest. We could be looking at some light flurries here for the typical snow belts into tonight and by tomorrow. Well, we are going to still have that cloud cover through the overnight hours. We'll chip away at that a little bit into tomorrow morning. We're looking at partly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies actually, but we should manage a couple rays of sunshine here as high pressure does move in and that's going to dominate our weather pattern for a couple days here, really keeping things nice and dry and calm for us. Temperatures today in the low twenties. Again, we do have a few flurries there. Winds relatively calm and tonight it's going to feel a bit chilly for your New Year's Eve. We'll be looking at lows close to nine degrees and looking at your Northwoods Furniture Gallery seven day forecast. We are right around average for Thursday and for your New Year's Day with temperatures in the low twenties. More sunshine for New Year's Day, a bit more sunshine for Saturday, and we do see those temperatures rebound back into the upper twenties. Welcome back and thanks for being here on a Wednesday morning. Currently we are getting some more late December rain showers making their way through the state of Wisconsin. Much of that will continue throughout the day today and it's going to pick up the pace as well. We could see a couple areas of some heavier rainfall. Current temperature is still above average for this time of year. We'll actually warm up even further than yesterday. Currently in the mid 30s here in Rhinelander throughout the region. Everyone's sitting in the mid in the mid to lower 30s, 34 degrees in Mosinee, 35 degrees in Wisconsin Rapids, 34 in Arbor Vine. And again, we are still going to warm up further than yesterday today. Temperatures near 40 degrees throughout much of the region. We'll continue to see some rain showers throughout the day today. Those will pick up by late late morning into the afternoon especially, but we'll continue to see those through through the evening hours as well. We do have some areas of dense fog this morning and a dense fog advisory in effect for Adams County, Clark and Taylor until seven this morning, but we'll see patchy fog here throughout the day. Then we could transition to snow tonight around midnight, but that's looking less and less promising. We may only uh, muster a wintry mix here, and if we do get some snow, we are certainly looking at minor snowfall totals unless you're in northwestern portions of the state. Otherwise, we're looking at favorable travel conditions for your Christmas Eve. We may have a little bit of ice on the roads as we dip down into the mid 20s tonight, but apart from that, we have some mild days ahead with no rain showers after today. Looking at future cast, we will continue to see rain showers throughout the morning hours as our next system moves in. And it is going to be a pretty strong system here. We can't rule out the slight chance of a thunderstorm here, and we do have some cooler air moving into the Northwoods as we make our way throughout the day, but we'll keep those rain showers throughout much of the evening hours as well. Northwestern portions of the state could manage a bit of snow. They are under a winter weather advisory in effect through tomorrow, and we could be looking 
at perhaps anywhere from one to three inches of snow for them. But for us, snow totals not terribly impressive. We could be dealing with some snow around midnight through the overnight hours. Futurecast wrapping that up pretty quickly. We do have a slight chance for some snow early tomorrow morning, but otherwise we have mild conditions. We'll keep that cloud cover throughout the day. Rainfall totals today going to be anywhere from a quarter of an inch up to around three fourths of an inch for those of us that do get a little bit more rain. That will be the upwards end of things. I think most of us should manage a quarter up to half an inch of rain. Again, those snowfall totals not going to be terribly impressive unless you're in northwestern portions of the state. Ashland Iron County is perhaps getting an inch or two today. Highs in the low 40s, certainly warm for this time of year. Lows tonight above average as well in the mid 20s. And our winds do pick up tonight with wind gusts up to around 35 miles per hour. Looking at your Northwoods Furniture Gallery seven day forecast, we do cool down for tomorrow with highs in the low 30s for Christmas Day. Expect more sunshine and highs in the low 30s as well. Well, we'll manage a bit of a break from our messy weather that we got earlier this week. Those roads are still a little bit slick from all of the rain, sleet, as well as freezing rain and snow that we saw yesterday. So allow a little bit of extra time on the roads this morning. Otherwise, we're dealing with calmer conditions with uniform cloud cover and a couple light flurries making their way throughout the Northwoods this, this morning. We'll continue to see some flurries into the afternoon and overnight hours, and we certainly will have another windier day on tap. Those winds aren't going to die down into tonight either. And the big news is it is feeling more like December. It's going to be a bit colder today, even colder tomorrow, and we will finally see some sun here. Not today, but it will make an appearance by the weekend here. Finally debuting. It's been a very long stretch for us without a lot of sunshine here. Current temperatures in the low 20s in Rhinelander. Those dew points are very low. Wind speeds around 20 miles per hour out of the west. And again, it feels pretty cold out there. Currently feeling like 7 degrees in Rhinelander, 8 degrees in Tomahawk, even though our temperatures are in the low 20s. These winds are making things much chillier. In Wausau, they're looking at wind gusts up to around 35 miles per hour. And again, we're going to keep these stronger winds into tonight, even tomorrow. So you might want to add on a couple extra layers because that's going to make things feel even cooler. And we've already cooled off a good bit from our above average temperatures earlier this week. Future cast showing this morning we do have that uniform cloud cover. We'll keep those clouds throughout the day today with the chance for light flurries just scattered and spotty. Not much in terms of accumulation here, but we do have that chance for flurries into the afternoon as well in, as into tonight. We do have a slight chance for some flurries through the overnight hours into tomorrow as well. Keeping that cloud cover and it's going to feel pretty cold here. By tomorrow morning, we are going to be looking at highs actually below average for the first time in quite some time. Here's our last system that has tracked largely to our northeast, but we do have some wraparound moisture. We're getting some flurries from that, as well as a couple jet streaks that are touching off some light flurries. High pressure going to continue to track to our east behind that. Our next system starts to roll in late Sunday night, and we could be seeing a little bit more snow, perhaps a wintry mix, though, again next week as temperatures will rebound a bit. First today, highs in the upper 20s. Again, it's going to be gusty today into tonight, and this is going to feel pretty cool. Lows in the low teens tomorrow. Well, that's going to feel even colder. Our high temperatures will be in the upper teens, single digit lows. We do have that slight chance for a couple very light flurries tomorrow. More sunshine for your weekend, and then our temperatures do rebound by the start of your work week with a couple chances for more precipitation by Monday and Wednesday.